Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0339 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0339 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor A circuit intermittent. And what does this mean? Well, the crankshaft position sensor is used for timing. It knows the location of the crankshaft as it spins and it reports this information back to the onboard computer, which is just seeing an issue with this circuit. So it's going to have to be troubleshooted as to why and what the problem is. And the crankshaft position sensor is just a small little device. It usually has like one bolt holding it on and a wiring harness going to it. And all it does is as the crankshaft spins, it just reports back its, the location of it. So it's a pretty simple little, little device. And by themselves, they're pretty easy to swap out usually. But often there's another component inside of the way which can cause it to be sometimes a pain. It can vary depending on the Honda. Like right here, this is down at the bottom right up and near the crank and it looks like a lot of like the cover needed to be pulled apart and this kind of things but sometimes they can be a little more simpler the location it just can vary and they'll all be kind of located differently depending on your year of your honda and the engine type and one thing to mention is that be sure to check the wiring because bad wiring or this bad connector on this harness can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so this is a common problem is that somebody will come along they'll just swap out the sensor but it had a problem in the wiring. There was like a short or an open or the, just this connector wasn't plugged in good, which can be a problem. And so if when you do get this error, the first thing you want to do is check the wiring. Be sure it's plugged in good. Be sure all the wiring looks good. This wiring goes back to the onboard computer and it can, there's various ways you could check it. You could use a meter and, and check it for an open or a short or things like this, but be sure to check the wiring. And if you check all the wiring and all the wiring looks good, then very likely is a sensor. And the sensors are a low cost part. I'm gonna jump over on Amazon just to give you an idea what the current price is. They look like be ranging around 35, 26, $65. So they're not extremely high cost items. Quite often you get one for like 20, 30 bucks. But depending on the location of the sensor is will be the main problem. Some of them will be easy. They won't be difficult. They'll be really easy. Like this one right here looks very easy. You would just unscrew the bolt pop it out, pop in a new one, and you'd be done. While other ones, like like this one, or like this one, you see you have to pull the cover off, the timing belt cover, you'd have to come in there, and so that's a bit more of a pain. It just, it'll vary. So what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0339 code? Well, first thing to do is Google where this crankshaft position sensor is located on your engine, and go and check it out. Check out the harness, be sure to check out the wiring going back to the ECM. Be sure it's plugged in good and that all looks good. Check inside of there if there's a fuse that's blown because quite commonly uh, the crankshaft position sensor and the camshaft position sensor are on a circuit and it will be controlled by a fuse. So if there's a problem in the wiring or something else or a problem somewhere, that fuse could have blown. And so even if you check all the wiring and replace the sensor, then you could still have issues because the fuse is blown. Be sure to check for a fuse. Quite often inside the engine compartment, there's a fuse box that'll have a fuse in there, but it can also be inside the vehicle up underneath the dashboard in some vehicles. And after you check all of that, then go ahead and replace the sensor. And usually that'll solve the problem. It'll either be the wiring, a blown fuse, a bad crankshaft position sensor, or a combination of one of those. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of what you could do if you had a Honda with the P0335 code and how you go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.